Have you ever noticed how your cat seems to have a strange obsession with closed doors? One moment, they're happily lounging around, and the next, they're pawing, meowing, and even trying to squeeze under that mysterious barrier. What's the deal with cats and closed doors? Today, we're going to dive deep into the fascinating world of cat behavior and find out why your cat just can't stand a closed door. Before we dive in, please subscribe to Wise Animals and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. First off, let's talk about cat curiosity. You know how the saying goes, curiosity killed the cat. Well, don't worry, we're not here to discuss anything that drastic, but cats are incredibly curious creatures by nature. When a door is closed, to them, it's as if a new, uncharted world is hiding behind it. Your cat simply must know what's going on behind that barrier. This curiosity is deeply rooted in cat's survival instincts. In the wild, a cat's curiosity can mean the difference between finding food or remaining hungry, between spotting danger or staying safe. So, when a door is closed, it's like there's a mystery that needs to be solved for the cat's own well-being. Cats are also social animals. While they might have a reputation for being independent, any cat guardian knows that their feline friend loves to be part of the action. Whether it's just being near you or bonding with other pets, your cat wants to be involved in what's happening in the household. In the wild, cats form colonies where they rely on each other for safety, grooming, and social interaction. Even though your cat is domestic, this instinct remains. Cats want to be included in the social circle, and a closed door is like being shut out of the colony. When a door is closed, cats may feel like they're missing out on something important, and that simply won't do. Another reason is cat's history. The ancestors of our domestic cats were ferocious hunters, relying on their keen senses and awareness of their surroundings to survive. Every rustle in the grass, every shift in the wind, could signal either potential prey or danger. This heightened state of alertness was crucial for cats' survival, keeping them safe from predators and helping them secure their next meal. Although your cat now lives in the safety of your home, this instinctual need to be aware of everything around them hasn't faded. When a door is closed, cats feel a deep-rooted need to ensure that there's nothing lurking that could pose a threat. Your home is your cat's territory, and every part of it needs to be understood and monitored. A closed door disrupts this awareness, leaving a part of your cat's environment unexplored and potentially unsafe in their minds. This is why your cat might seem so desperate to get through that door. They're trying to fulfill an instinctual duty to keep their environment secure and under control. And speaking of being social, have you ever noticed how your cat has absolutely no concept of privacy or personal space? They'll walk across your laptop while you're working, lie on your chest and block your view, or even stick their butt in your face without a second thought. So naturally, when you close a door, cats don't understand why they can't be in there with you. To your cats, it's just another part of your shared space, and they don't see any reason why they shouldn't have access to it. This behavior is also linked to a cat's need for security. In the wild, staying close to their companions meant staying safe from predators. For a cat, a closed door creates a physical barrier that disrupts this sense of security. Another reason your cat might be so determined to get past that door is their love of freedom. Cats aren't fond of feeling confined, even if it's just one room being closed off in an otherwise spacious house. To your cat, a closed door can feel like a restriction on their freedom. Cats in the wild roam large territories, and they need to have control over their movement to feel secure. Even in a domestic setting, this cat instinct persists, so when a door is closed, it's like a piece of their territory is suddenly off limits. It's not necessarily about needing to get into the room. Sometimes, it's just about having the option to come and go as your cats please. You might open the door, and your cat might just sit there, but it's the principle of the thing. Here's something else to consider. Depending on which door is closed, you may have cut off access to a resource your cat wants to use. Cats are very particular about their favorite spots, whether it's a beloved cat tower, their litter box, a warm vent where they love to nap, or even a sunny window where they watch the world go by. When a door is closed, it might be blocking your cat's way to one of these essential resources. For your cat, this isn't just an inconvenience. It's a disruption to their daily routine and comfort. They're going to do everything in their power to regain access. After all, having control over their environment and access to their resources is key to a cat's sense of security and well-being. Now, here's a funny thought. What if you've actually conditioned your cat to dislike closed doors? If you've ever heard your cat meowing outside a closed door and then opened it to let them in, you've taught them that meowing equals access. Over time, your clever kitty has learned that a little persistence can get them what they want, whether it's entry into a room or your attention. Cats are quick learners, especially when it comes to something they want. 
This learned cat behavior is a form of operant conditioning, a psychological concept where behaviors are influenced by the consequences that follow them. In this case, the consequence of getting the door opened reinforces the meowing behavior. Of course, we can't talk about closed doors without mentioning the sheer determination of our cat friends. Cats are persistent. If they want in, they'll find a way. Whether it's nudging the door open with their paws, squeezing through a crack, or in some cases, even learning to turn the doorknob. This determination can be traced back to cats' hunting instincts. In the wild, persistence often leads to success, whether it's catching prey or finding a safe hiding spot. And when cats finally get that door open, it's like they've conquered a great challenge. The room might be empty, but hey, the victory was sweet. Another fascinating aspect to consider is how cats view their environment in terms of territory. Unlike humans, who see rooms and doors as separate spaces, cats view their home as one continuous territory. A closed door disrupts a cat's sense of continuity. When a door is closed, it's as if a part of their world is suddenly cut off, leading to anxiety and a strong desire to regain access. This territorial cat behavior is also linked to scent marking. Cats have scent glands on their cheeks, paws, and even at the base of their tail, which they use to mark their territory. When a door is closed, cats might feel the need to get in and remark the area to reaffirm their presence. This can explain why a cat will sometimes seem particularly determined to get through a closed door. They're not just being nosy, they're trying to maintain their territory. So, what can you do if your cat's obsession with closed doors is driving you a little crazy? Well, it helps to understand that your cat's behavior is completely natural. Now, here are some tips on how to help your cat be okay with a closed door. Rule out any medical issues. Before diving into behavioral solutions, it's essential to ensure that your cat's distress isn't due to an underlying medical problem. Cats often exhibit unusual behaviors when they're not feeling well, so a vet visit should be your first step. If the vet gives your cat a clean bill of health, you can then focus on behavioral interventions. Address environmental factors. Once you've ruled out medical issues, consider if your cat's distress might be due to being cut off from an essential resource. If a closed door is blocking access to your cat's litter box, favorite perch, water fountain, or even a sunny spot they love to nap in, it's no wonder they're upset. Cats thrive on routine and access to their preferred spaces, so it's crucial to provide alternatives on the side of the door they're stuck on. For instance, ensure there's a litter box on both sides of the door. And if they love lounging by a warm vent that's now off limits, consider placing a heated cat bed nearby. The goal is to meet your cat's needs in a way that minimizes the impact of the closed door. Gradual exposure to closed doors. Helping your cat get used to a closed door can be a gradual process. Start by keeping the door closed for short periods while your cat is engaged with something enjoyable, like a favorite treat or toy. Positive reinforcement is key. Make sure your cat associates the closed door with something pleasant. Over time, you can slowly increase the duration that the door is closed, always ensuring your cat remains comfortable and relaxed. Eventually, your kitty will start to accept that a closed door doesn't mean they're missing out on anything important. Easing separation anxiety. If your cat's distress stems from being separated from you, it's important to help them feel secure even when you're on the other side of the door. Provide your cat with a special toy or treat to keep them occupied while you're away. Lick mats or interactive toys that take time to engage with are great options as they distract your cat and reduce anxiety. Start by leaving them for brief periods and gradually extend the time apart, helping your cat build confidence that you'll return. Avoid reinforcing unwanted behavior. If your cat has learned that meowing or scratching at the door results in it being opened, they'll likely continue this behavior. It's important not to reinforce this by giving in during moments of distress, as this teaches your cats that persistence pays off. However, ignoring the behavior entirely can lead to an extinction burst where the behavior temporarily worsens before it improves. Instead of simply ignoring them, teach your cat an alternative behavior through positive reinforcement, like sitting calmly on a mat. Keep the door open when possible. If the reason for closing the door isn't critical, you might find it easier to leave it slightly ajar, allowing your cat to come and go as they please. In situations where keeping the door closed is necessary, such as separating cats, consider installing a microchip activated cat door. This way, your cat can have access without others intruding. Meet their needs differently. If your cat is waking you up early or pestering you for food because they're locked out of your room, consider getting an automatic feeder to dispense food at set times. This not only helps meet their need without disrupting your sleep, but also ensures your cats are not feeling neglected. If keeping them out of the bedroom is non-negotiable, make sure they're well exercised before bed 
and consider leaving out a food puzzle or toy to keep them entertained through the night. Things to avoid. While it might be tempting to try quick fixes or deterrents, these methods can increase your cat's stress rather than solve the problem. Creating a fearful environment doesn't address the underlying cat anxiety and can lead to further behavioral issues. Instead, focus on understanding and addressing the reasons behind your cat's behavior. If your cat is insistent on having doors open, it's likely due to underlying anxiety, discomfort, or a strong desire to maintain access to important resources. With patience and positive reinforcement, you can help your cat adjust to closed doors, leading to a happier and more peaceful home environment for both of you. It will also strengthen the bond you share with your cat. At the end of the day, our cats are just trying to be part of our world. Every little part of it, even the spaces behind closed doors. So next time your cat scratches or meows at a door, just remember, it's all part of their quirky charm. After all, that's why we love them, isn't it? Does your cat have a thing for closed doors? I'd love to hear your stories. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Your support not only encourages us, but also helps other cat lovers discover our content. Don't forget to share your experiences in the comments below and consider subscribing to the Wise Animals channel for more informative videos on understanding and caring for our feline friends. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.